I want to go back to this uh, model that I presented earlier. And now that you have heard some more details from Doug on our plan, look at how does our plan stack up against this model? And we really feel that uh, our plan currently really checks all the boxes on this. First, on reliability, uh, having that local dispatchable resource in our system really helps improve the reliability of our system that can accommodate uh, changing dynamics on the market and ensure that we can provide strong local voltage support to our system. On affordability, we really feel like this plan can achieve uh, our goals while really maintaining reasonable rates. We're looking at just modest annual rate adjust adjustments that would be similar to the rates of inflation that we expect to see in the coming years, which really is a pretty significant accomplishment considering the magnitude of the transition that we're undertaking. From a flexibility standpoint, as Doug talked about, having that open portion of our portfolio really leaves room for us to continue to adapt and maybe add pieces into the portfolio down the road as technologies improve and costs come down. And also having that dispatchable resource gives us the flexibility to adjust with changing market conditions as we go forward. Uh, and we expect to see increased renewables on the system, uh, which will increase variability and fluctuations of pricing and energy on the system and having a resource that can move with those prices, uh, we think would be really important. And from a sustainability standpoint, as, as we've talked about earlier, we're targeting some very significant carbon reductions and along with those reductions will also come fewer air emissions and reduced water usage, which we think will have a very positive impact. Next, I wanna talk about a few different aspects of economic development and how our plans will impact the local economy here in Muscatine. First, unfortunately, with the planned retirement of plant one, units seven, eight, and eight A, we do expect that that will impact some of our staff down at the power plant facility. Now we're gonna do everything that we can to try and make that a smooth transition and work with those impacted employees uh, to help them transition into something new, but that, that is a, a very unfortunate impact of this plan. Uh, another downside of that is the impact of the local economy. So plant one has uh, an annual 1M budget, uh, not including fuel of almost $8 million a year. And so those O&M funds uh, in a lot of ways go directly back into our local economy and those unfortunately will go away when those units retire. I also wanted to talk about the uh, economic development impacts of different resource options. So when we look at the solar garden project, uh, very positive uh, on a temporary basis during the construction of that project. It'll likely bring in dozens of jobs into the community uh, to build that project and get it in service. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't expect uh, very many, if any, permanent jobs associated with that just due to the way that the O&M on those projects work. This most likely would be served uh, in part by a regional crew that would just come into town occasionally, do whatever maintenance is needed, uh, but not necessarily require any permanent jobs in Muscatine. The CHIP project, on the other hand, uh, would also bring many construction jobs during several months of construction of the plant, but then also create several permanent high paying local jobs to support the unit's operation. And in our case, we'd be able to retain uh, several of our existing uh, talented and dedicated power plant staff to operate that unit. As well, it would have an annual operating budget that would continue to support the local economy in the years to come.